Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Scribbles with Sam and I'm Sam. And today I figured I would flip through what my planner was like before I switched into the Hobonichi Cousin. So in front of me, I just have the Moleskine or Moleskine Weekly 2023 planner. Um, I don't think there's any blank pages that I can show you sort of what it looked like, but you'll see once we get into the video what uh, the layout kind of looks like. Starting with what I have on the front cover, um, this I know is a Book Babe Design sticker. These are all from work that I just like picked up at school. This is from like a pack on Amazon. This was gifted to me. This was from New Orleans and I have no idea where this sticker is from. All right, so flipping in, let's see, I think there's a couple things clipped. These are just monthlies that I did not use really. I like tracked sort of my bills on here, but I literally never looked at my monthly pages in this planner. So they're pretty empty. I think I just kind of like threw in the bills and then never touched them again. This one's completely blank. This one's a little bit more filled out, but not really. This one's like when I used it the most, but this is when I went back to work. So that's when I needed it the most. Um, let's see. Here in the planner, they have like global holidays. Never looked at that. The time zone map, never looked at that. Conversions and dialing codes, also never really looked at any of that. Um, if you can hear the lawnmower in the background, I'm so sorry. I can't do anything about that, but hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. All right, so then once I got closer towards the end of the year, I realized that I had a ton of blank pages, and so I wanted to start using them up. So I decided to start track my tracking my Christmas shopping in here. I did some Christmas spending that I'm just covering up some of it because... I don't need you guys to know how much I spent on Christmas. Um, I didn't end up using this all the way. More blank pages. And then there's gonna be a bunch of pages in the beginning that I literally didn't use because I wasn't at work. So all of these pages, I'll just quickly flip through. I ended up going back and working out some budgeting numbers in them just so I could, could write down all of the information without having to Hello, Ashby. Without having to pull out another notebook. And so I thought that was a great use of the blank pages. That way, you know, I wasn't wasting space here. All right, so January 16th through the 22nd is where I started using the planner for 2023. All of these stickers are from Sticky Club. Here is probably a Tombow, um, just a sparkly gel pen. And I was really just kind of going through marking like appointments and then like non-time specific things. So like more so events than appointments. Over here, I broke it into meal plan, home to do, work to do, um, more work to do. And this changes pretty often throughout the whole planner. Moving on, the next week in January, same sort of layout. These stickers, again, are from Sticky Club. Both of these washies are from Amazon. Ashby. You're okay, bud. He's probably gonna jump on the desk any minute. Next page, all right, more Sticky Club. I have a, I used to have a subscription to Sticky Club, so this was how I was using up my collection was just putting them in my planner. At this time, I was not into sticker kits or sticker shops. It was just the one subscription that I had. The one subscription that I had to Sticky Club. All right, here's a week when I didn't even hardly use my planner. A lot of it got, I think, probably not used because I have this sick day right here. Um, Hogwarts Legacy came out, so I know I was either probably laying on the couch playing that game the whole time. Um, here's another Sticky Clubs kit. This washi is so old, it's probably from like Walmart or Michaels. Amazon, Sticky Club, all of this. 
different. Another week that I didn't use my planner because we were on break, so I didn't have work. Um, so I ended up going back and journaling on this page in September, September 27th, and I just covered it up because I think all the pages that I backfilled journaling were because I was like highly emotional and needed to write some stuff down. Here I tried doing some doodling to fill up my page without stickers. Uh, I made a to-do list in which I did none of this. Wow, go me. Um, here I tried using some black sticky notes that I had, but not really decorating um, a lot of this. Like, this is just stuff that I had at work. Like, I had a marker and I had some sticky notes and that's how I was filling it in. Uh, over here I tried a different layout. So, I guess events, non-time spe non specific events, and then to-do lists. And I extended that over here. So again, with the sticky club stickers, but this time I broke it down into to-do and spend. So I was tracking my spending. I really liked this layout, um, but it didn't last forever. Here again, no stickers, just important and to-do list doodles all around. Another page I didn't use because of spring break, so I journaled in it. Um, April, back to back to work. So I've got um, just a highlighter because that's all I had on me probably at work while I was doing this stuff. At this time, I had a lot of stuff going on because I was getting married in June. So I was constantly like thinking about that versus cleaning the house versus what I'm cooking versus working, all sorts of stuff going on. Here I tried a green pen with a green highlighter. I like this kind of look. I think it looks good. Um, but typically now I just kind of stick to black ink in my Hovenichi. Another barely barely used spread were uh, regular to-do versus wedding to-dos. It's pretty much all that was on my radar. We got to May and I was checked out of work like I was not having it so I was barely using it and then we had finals week um, this looks like a test page so maybe I was reevaluating how I wanted to use my planner at this point no idea what I was doing for the summer I probably didn't plan on this at all and it looks like it's just budget pages scratch paper budget pages yeah um, July, when I have to go back to work, of course I picked up the planner again, and this looks like events, to-do lists, home to-do, groceries, notes, started trying to habit track. Habit tracking never stuck with me in this planner, I don't know why. I kept setting it up and not doing it. This looks like I tried something, it didn't work, just cut it out, probably redid it there. Then I was like, oh, markers, let's doodle, and then I... I definitely hate how this looks like this part was cute and this part's like what, what did you do here I'm not really quite sure what was going on here uh, fine planner piece is totally right that's for sure um, I hated this spread so I think I, I think this is the spread that I went and redid this is the same week yeah this is the exact same week I hated this how this turned out so I redid it this way, and this is some notebook therapy washi tape. Much more aesthetically pleasing. This came from Happy Planner sticker books, and I just, yeah, it was just really dark and really abrasive, so I skipped that. This is my birthday week, so just minimalistic with the sticky club stickers and the Tombow. Trying to have it track and not have it tracking. Then I got out of my stickers, barely used it, tried to use it some more. Don't be so dramatic, Samantha. And that's, you know, um, here I tried to make a TBR of things I wanted to read, but I'm just like not using my planner at this point. Honestly, not really using it here either. There we go. See, this is probably when I had a lot in my head at work and I just started writing everything down, everything I could think of down. This is definitely me using my planner as functionally as possible. It's just this pen spread right here. Uh, looks like, I don't know what date this is. September, mid-September, I probably got back into my planner videos. So here you've got washi tape from Amazon. This is all from Sticky Club. 
same here purple pen is I think a Pentel Energel pen which I love this purple pen really like the colors of this one this is so fun um, this is a kit from Sweet Kawaii Des Designs probably from Michaels I tend to pick up those sticker books when they're on sale at Michaels or on clearance so this is probably what this was um, and I definitely bought sticker kits at this point because this is a sticker kit from I think Nikki plus three if I had to guess I'm not entirely positive here um, once again on my no spend if you know anything about me I'm constantly trying to no spend and constantly sucking at it um, but I really love this color scheme of this this is the week when I was going to Barcelona. This is a, another sweet Kawaii Design sticker book, I think, from Michaels. And I just popped off. I don't think I meant to make it this full, but I love how it looks. But I definitely wanted to like use all of the things. Like I was just really into it. And I, I do really love how this turned out. These are all stickers from the stickers that Michaels had for Halloween. So uh, I know they had little books with boxes and little deco pieces. All of this came from Michaels for sure. Well, it looks like I was sick from coming back from my trip. Yeah, I think this is the start of us getting sick for like two months straight, which sucked. Um, at this point, I took work out of my planner. It's just regular to-dos and groceries pretty much. And that's it. Uh, this is a Nikki Plus 3 kit. It's a Halloween kit. I love the scary movie stuff, but I love that it's pink. How fun. Um, let's see. This is probably a Tombow. Just a to-do list. Groceries. Half done habit trackers. This, I think, looks like Lauren Phelps design, potentially, this sticker kit. Um, it's a journaling kit. So I didn't think that I was ever going to be like a full kit kind of person. So I was only buying journaling kits at this point. And I, you know, things have changed, but the planner has changed. So, but I'm just planning again, to-do list, grocery list. My husband's birthday was on Friday. So I was planning for that. Um, hello, November, first week of November to do meal plan to buy. This is from when I decided to coffee stain some paper because I had a bunch of leftover coffee at work and I was like, let's try something. And now I have a bunch of this paper and haven't used any of it once. Go me. Um, let's see, this washi tape is from Notebook Therapy. This is a freebie from Mandy Lynn Plans. This is a freebie from Adorably Amy Designs, Nikki Plus Three. Um, this came from a Happy Planner sticker book. This is Moody Cats Co. I'm not sure where these are from. I know all of these like little stickers right here and here all came from freebies. Uh, let's see, this is the November subscription kit for Mandy Lynn Plans and I recognize it because I just used it in my cousin. Um, this is my first time using a big kit or getting the subscription box so I was really excited to use it oh sorry if you can see that cat here but just to do meals this week packages I was expecting um strict no spend and then I got sick again so yeah we were sick for like two weeks straight or two months straight it's pretty awful see this is just me trying to use up a bunch of freebies that I had from Probably the Planner Boss Collective sale. So again, washi tape is from Amazon. All of these are freebies from, I really couldn't tell you who. I know Adorably Amy Designs, and I'm that's Moody Cats Co. That's Nikki Plus Three. I don't know about the others though. Um, I have no idea where this sticker kit is from. If I had to do my best guess, I would be Saucy Stickers Co. That seems right. This is not a transparent. Like I was going before for the clear matte, the clear matte style kits. This is the only one that I bought. I think that was the white background. 
looks like everything on here came from the kit though, except for this. This came from a Happy Planner sticker book. Um, this is another journaling kit. Again, I'm gonna guess that this is Saucy Stickers Co. I bought quite a few from there. This looks like a freebie from Mandy Lynn Plans, perhaps. Long to-do list. Lots of packages coming because of Christmas. Oh, here's December where I got to start using the monthly and the Hobonichi Cousin. This kit is the Mary Gothmas from Adorably Amy Designs. I just had to buy it because I'm not a huge Christmas colors person and it was very purple and I love purple. So that's why I bought this one and I love it. It's very fun. This is a journaling kit from Mandy Lynn Plans. Again, on that clear transparent paper, which is typically what I prefer, or at least that I think I prefer. To do meals expecting. I was sick again, big shock and starting my winter break, finally off of work. Here's another Christmas kit from Mandy Lynn Plans, still that clear mat. Um, and I got my advent calendar from her, so I was opening that up. Gifts I still needed to buy for Christmas. All of this, I believe, came from Mandy Lynn Plans. And then we have the week of Christmas, and I used some of the stuff from the advent calendar from Mandy Lynn Plans to do these pages. Um, and I think, actually, at this point, all of these pages come out. Yeah, at this point, like, my planner just broke. And so I had to, like, paper clip in my pages. Um, it was quite interesting. It was nice because I could take them out to plan, but not nice because they're no longer attached to my book. Flipping over, you just have the notes pages in the back. This is just shows that I was told to watch. Some wedding stuff over here. This is my book's pre-ordered list or books that are on my radar. There's a similar spread to this in My Hobonichi Cousin. And then my waiting on packages spread. I just got some sticky notes in the back. Let's see, a receipt that I don't particularly wanna show you and then uh, page flags that I haven't used and some of the stickers that come with the planner that they offer which I never use because I never really know what to use these for so they end up just staying in the back of the planner and that's it like you can see I just kind of stuck them in here with no reason whatsoever like there's on my radar but that's it for this planner honestly um it served me well. I didn't use it the way that I certainly use my planner now, but I really loved it. And I was using this planner, this moleskin for years. I have one from 2022. I think I have one from 2021. I also used it for a reading journal at one point. So like, I really love these books. They're very nice to me and you can see how much it kind of bulked up. Um, but yeah, I'm, Definitely much happier to be in the Hobonichi Cousin. I think that it's more of what I need, at least for right now, um, because I was also using a journal in conjunction with this. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do some journal flip throughs because I have a bunch of old journals that I'd love to share. If you'd like to see those, definitely leave me a comment down below. And I think that'll be it for this video. Bye y'all.